going on people as you can see I am on the sporty today because we are heading off to the Harley Davidson hospital to check up on the sport glide unfortunately during the week on my way home from work we had some mechanical issues with the sport glide which resulted in me being stuck at the side of the motorway unable to get down from fourth gear I could get up to sixth gear absolutely fine but as soon as I went to fourth the gear lever just fell down and there was nothing for me to work with to go down my gears I have never seen that before don't know what is wrong with the bike but today I'm hoping we can go and find out luckily I did get the extended warranty when I bought the bike which meant I do get picked up by the side of the road it gets sent off to storage overnight then it gets sent off to my nearest dealership they get told what the problem is and they, they take a look at it it's all under warranty so don't have to pay a penny which is absolutely beautiful they also got me a taxi home as well all free of charge as well which is grand just annoying that the sport glide decided to not go down lower than four it's really awkward as well because i was on the m4 70 mile an hour traffic came up in front of me i think there was an accident so we all had to slow down i'm coming up to traffic rolling down the gears got to four and realized oh no i can't go lower than four which means i can only slow down so much before the bike won't start or i can't pull away again so i decided to go as slow as i could go in fourth i managed to filter through the traffic it had all become a standstill and then i managed to slide my way down off of the m4 into chiefly services down at newbury thankfully i made it all the way to the petrol station cruising just coasting off the clutch so that i could stay in the shower because it was absolutely hooning it down with rain as well i had a little play with it i don't know what i'm doing though so it's not like i was going to fix it matey boy came out cavalry turned up the petrol station looked at the bike and went yeah we're not going to be able to fix that by the side of the road so we'll throw it in the back we'll send it to storage and then we'll cart it on down to oxford harley davidson in the morning because that's the closest dealership and then they'll give you a ring and tell you oh, what's wrong with it now i thought instead of them giving me a call it's been a couple of days with them now i thought i'll pop on down i'll make a ride out of it why not i'll head out on the sporty or head to the harley davidson hospital check up and see how our new baby's doing be really interesting to hear if anyone else has had that problem before as well really strange that it happened on the sport glide so soon as well really i've only had it what two months now two months and she's already been sent off to the doctor doesn't bode well does it but yeah no worries these things happen i've got the sporty still anyway so this disgruntled teenager that is usually the moody one is the survivor she's the one staying strong i won't be calling her my problem child anymore you've been promoted to the old faithful don't let me down there's no way the old faithful is going to be taking me to work though so we do have to figure out what we're going to do first stop though as always on a sports today out is the petrol station the holy mecca of the sports the revival petrol so let's get some petrol first and then we'll head off to oxford harley annoyingly the petrol station that we passed a minute ago is the kind of petrol station that every time i go to them they make me take my helmet off which is just irritating whereas here they don't mind me leaving it on so oh no toll bridge i didn't realize oops we're gonna have to see if bikes get free on this so <laughs> keep laying my feet on the bloody brake or my foot on the brake and my other foot on the, the gear 
shifter because I think I'm on the sport glide and I can put my feet forward. What a result! The toll bridge is free for me. I've got to be honest, the pipes on this bike transitioning from the sport glide to the sporty. Pipes are so obnoxious. <laughs> the sport guys go like this loud but not too loud deep rumble. The sporty, not so much, you know. When I used to ride the sporty all the time, I kind of got used to it. But now I get what Mrs. Moto means when she says I'm definitely gonna annoy the neighbours. <laughs> it is obnoxious. <laughs> Sounds great, but it's obnoxious. No doubt I'll get there and they'll be like, oh, well, we decided actually that I knew the fella said we was taking it to the closest dealership and that we was going to Oxford, but we thought due to the fact you bought the bike in Cheltenham, we'd send it to them. And I'll be like, oh, well, okie dokie, today just got a little bit longer. I had to use something as an excuse to get out though, because me and Mrs. Mo have got a load of more DIY to be doing, so. Taking a trip down to the to the shop to check on the old sport glide at least gets me on the bike for an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two, maybe three hours, we'll see. <laughs> as comfortable as the sport glide is to ride every day, it is really fun getting back out on the sporty. There's just something about these little bikes. They make you feel like the coolest kid on the block, which I'm definitely not, but Ah, who cares? The feeling's all that counts, right? Oh, come on, Tesla. I hate it when people do that. Stop with their arse hanging out. And there's no way I'm risking it trying to go past the Tesla. You know, that can turn into a really bad day really quickly, can it? The other thing I'm giving a test today as well is the new GoPro. I had some complications with the old Hero 10. For some reason, every time I was recording, it was going to like 10 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. And it kept telling me the battery was flat when it wasn't. I think it was to do with a little door, because there's a little door on a microphone or something. It's all about filtering water. And that came off, so I think it wasn't sat in the media mod right. So it kept disconnecting and telling it that it would run out of battery when it was actually just disconnected. It's a bit annoying, but I've upgraded to the Hero 11 now. I'm testing out the whole 8 by 7 ratio to see if I'm able to make some vertical videos as well as the 16 by 9 standard YouTube ratio videos all in one go instead of me having to film two videos. Hopefully I can get some nicer shots of me riding the bike for those vertical videos and then I can make some more stuff for Instagram as well. So giving that a test today. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, let's do it. Completely forgot I was on the sporty then. Oh, I'm going to blast past this lorry. Oh no, I'm 600 cc slower. Well, let's talk. <laughs> Dad bagger. Oh, let's do it. at the moment so that was legal um, in Mexico you can get this teleportation device then when you get somewhere you press big and then you get back on an English road and then you're near to, to Oxford Harley Davidson so you're allowed to do things like that that's fine Ooh, what was that just put my foot on the bloody exhaust pipe because I was trying to find the peg that's the only thing between transitioning between this and the sport glide. I keep doing it. I keep putting my feet in random places, overcompensating and undercompensating. That, and I keep going down to first gear with my bloody heel. Thank you. Beauty of being on a bike. 
who can say no to traffic. Harley Davidson Oxford, or as we're calling it at the moment, the Harley Davidson Hospital. Let's go see if they got my bike. And then let's see when they think they can look at it. I'm not gonna film here though. I didn't buy the bike from here. I don't want them for it appearing to be like I'm giving them stick. Oh, hold on. Uh, nope, I thought that was mine. Let's find out, but yeah, I'm not gonna film it. I don't wanna make these guys feel uncomfortable. Oh, let's go see how the baby's doing. Unfortunately, I am not leaving Oxford Harley with any good news. Oh, I can't bloody see anything. My visor's steamed up. So I'm leaving Harley Oxford with some bad news, unfortunately. Turns out their technician is off for a few weeks which means they can't even look at the bike for a few weeks to determine what's wrong with it, let alone put an ETA on when we can get potential parts or how long it will take to fix. Now that's not great news because I use that bike for work. There's no way I can be doing work on the Sporty. The distance is just too long. And unfortunately, Harley Assist only give you a courtesy car not a courtesy bike, which I find is strange. They give you a courtesy car. What if I only had a bike license? But they only give you it for two days. I also am doing a, a video shoot for work on Monday. I got some figuring out to do. Ah, balls. Too busy talking to myself. There we go. Yeah, so i got to figure that one out. I'm going to go for a little blip. And I'm going to head home so I can have Mrs. Moto with some of the DIY. And I can check out how the GoPro's done. We'll do a short little vlog of my unfortunate adventure down to Oxford Harley-Davidson. We'll see. We will see. But, yeah, for the meantime, not great. Not great at all. Obviously nothing they can do, it's not like they work every day of the week, all day of the week, and never get holiday. So, they also did know the bike was gonna break down and didn't know they was gonna receive it, so I can't really blame them for the time scale. It's just a little bit difficult for me. But I did bring Cheltenham Harley while I was sat in the car park and they said to me, their technician is also off, but just this weekend, they said their technician is back on Tuesday. So if I ring on Tuesday, they might be able to squeeze me in earlier if Harley Assist are willing to pick up the bike from Oxford and take it down to them in Cheltenham. <laughs> the sport is so loud. <laughs> absolutely tear through that tunnel. <laughs> it's only a little one as well. Right, I think I'm going to wrap things up anyway. I'm still about 20 minutes from home, but there's not a lot I'm getting out of today. So I think I'm going to write this one off, head on home, play with some of the new GoPro content to see how it comes out. Help Mrs. Mo with some DIY and I suppose wait till Tuesday till I can make some more phone calls to find out if I can get the sport guide repaired any sooner or even looked at sooner. I'll just sit tight and wait till Tuesday. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've ever been in this situation before where your bike wouldn't go down past four. And I'll keep you up to date with what's going on and the progress as things develop. I'm gonna clock out there. Cheers for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date. And I'll catch you in the next video or over on Instagram once I've had a play with today's content that the GoPro has picked up.